In today's tutorial, we will learn about the BLAST. BLAST is basically basic local alignment search tool. First of all, we should know how it works or what for what purpose it is used for. BLAST is used for basically homology analysis. How it performs the alignment means suppose we have a QD sequence. Suppose we perform the experiment, we perform the biological experiments and uh, uh, after the experiment we uh, after sequencing we received a sequence and we are not sure I want to do a further analysis uh, uh, about its SNPs or mutation analysis uh, we want to find uh, to, uh, we want to compare the sequence from the sequence that are already present in the biological database as you can see the definition here plus finds regions of similarity between biological sequences the program compares nucleotide or protein sequences to sequence database and calculates the statistical significance so uh, there are uh, four or five kind of blast nucleotide blast blast x t blast 10 protein blast so it depends upon our research objective or a kind of sequence we have suppose we have a nucleotide sequence and we want to compare it with the nuclear sequences of the database then we will choose uh, I will opt I will go for the nuclear blast and suppose we have a translated nucleotide curie and we want to compare it with the protein sequences that are available in the sequence database then we will opt blast X and similarity T blast N and protein blast in next tutorials uh, we will explore all these uh, by putting the translated nucleotide uh, curie in blast X and we will use also the T plus 10 but uh, in in this tutorial our main focus is to find uh, or to compare the uh, nucleotide sequence with the nucleotide sequence that are already present in the nucleotide database okay so I will click on the nucleotide blast after opening this uh, I need a query sequence this uh, the sequence uh, which I want to know uh, how much is it similar with the other uh, sequence of the database okay uh, here you can see I clicked on the blast end so it's th this window is active this option is active and here the definition line is here blast and program search nucleotide database using a nucleotide query uh, we will enter our query sequence here we can either enter accession number or we can add faster sequence or gene identifier uh, it's up to us uh, in which format we can uh, we want to add so suppose I have uh, this sequence uh, uh, this is a uh, sequence which I obtained after the experiment after the sequencing results and I want to know uh, that is it is it similar with the already reported uh, sequences of the database or is it a new sequence suppose my research objective is this so uh, it uh, I'm submitting the data in the form of FASTA FASTA with a greater than symbol one line description and on the next line there's a sequence okay I am simply copying this sequence the form of FASTA even I can upload this file also but it should be in the form of text document file okay I pasted the sequence here either I can choose a file also a similar file uh, I can give a job title uh, this tool already automatically uh, took the uh, title from my description line okay I even I can align two or more sequences if I will uh, opt this option and uh, the other option uh, will not be here suppose I am clicking on this align two or more you can see the two boxes are active now but my preference is to perform the homology analysis of my query sequence with the 
sequences that are already available in the database oh so here the tool is asking about the database through which database you want to perform the homology analysis here standard database that is nuclear nrnt in previous tutorial i already told you that this database have a lot of collection about the nucleotide sequences almost all kind of nucleotide sequences that are that is submitted in the giant bank database that will be available in this database but if i want to compare my sequence with the database that is rna its database genome plus transcript database or beta coronavirus so it depends upon my research objective through which database i want to compare my query sequence so i will opt i will go accordingly but i'm opting the, this standard nucleotide database even i can enter the organism if why i want to include a specific organism i will add that particular in, in, uh, uh, organism here if i want to exclude i will write the organism name suppose and uh, and i will click on the word exclude okay so all it depends my objective what i want to perform or uh, you may you may say i can customize my uh, search parameters i want i can choose a model any model or any kind of uh, model that is uh, that is about the uncultured environmental sample sequence okay so on it depends upon my research objective so i will opt according to that uh, if i want to find highly similar sequences i will opt for this if i want to find more dissimilar sequences i will click on this and so on so and here's the here are the algorithms mega blast addix continuous mega blast uh, according to the similarity search so simply i will click on the blast what i did actually in this page i just pasted my sequences here in the form of faster uh, even i can customize my parameters also but uh, at this stage i'm not customizing uh, i'm clicking on the word blast and within few seconds it will it will give the output okay here you can see first page is all almost a summary means summary of the our query sequences uh, my job title was this one and this the search reference id program i choose blast and database nt and so on query length was this one okay even i can edit this search one now the important part is our results uh, i was not sure about my sequence so now when i submitted my query sequences i want to know about a sequence uh, that uh, is it available in already reported uh, se databases sequence of the databases or what is it actually you can say so uh, after that uh, these this is the output of the blast and you can say uh, this is a t uh, in, in this description form it's a list means my query sequence is matched with these all sequences now next is how much percentage or uh, what are the our significant results so uh, i will opt my result i will choose my results depending upon the maximum score total score query coverage e value and percentage identity uh, for the significant alignment uh, i must have maximum score total maximum total score maximum query coverage maximum percent identity but there should be a least e value or ideally it should be zero so uh, i can say my sequence is about uh, is list uh, is matched with the listeria monocytogenes strain 2015 and so on so i can say that uh, so my sequence is listeria monocytogenes strain 2015 te 17781 okay uh, now you can see or question raises that other sequences uh, that are that were matched from the database uh, are also have the same score total score query coverage e value and so on so now it depends uh, what actually we were finding uh, at this stage at least we found that our sequence is about the listeria monocytogenes strain 
uh, okay and uh, now you will find the further difference between our query sequence and the, uh, the sequence uh, that is uh, matched with the database sequence okay so I will click on this one now it will give a face-to-face -face alignment and uh, now you can see here uh, the actual alignment at which base pair there is a difference between our query sequence and the subject subject sequence that that we retrieved or to obtain from the database also uh, a little bit summary is also written here so you can say uh, our query sequence uh, the first base pair is matched with the first base pair of the subject sequence uh, and in between these you can find if there is any difference or mutation by this way you can find the results you can perform the mutation analysis you can do the SNPs analysis and so on uh, so this was about the tutorial about the BLAST N uh, in this tutorial we just learned how to put the sequence in the query a box of the BLAST N and how we uh, take the results next tutorial we will further discuss about different parameters and different BLAST tools thank you very much